in this set of videos we are trying to explore absolute maximum and minimum values right so in first few videos I'm taking different kinds of scenarios which will open up your mind to all possibilities and this is one of those very interesting ones and it says can a straight line have absolute maximum and minimum well let's have a look at the straight line now we have a straight line here let's say a line going like this right now it extends from minus infinity to plus infinity it never turns and so thinking about maximum or minimum in a line is kind of difficult but could there be a possibility that we have absolute maximum minimum on a line itself the only way is if we cut it off at some point do you see that now if I just consider a portion of the line a line segment right so we do have right so we have a minimum here and a maximum there so the answer is yes if so the answer is yes why yes if if we consider a closed interval right if we consider a closed interval that is like looking at a line cut off right so we're just considering a portion of it and we say well if the line is from A to B in that case we have here absolute minimum and there absolute maximum do you see that so that is possible and in all practical applications we do have boundaries right for example time we say minimum is zero and then it could extend to 10 years 100 years 1000 years but at least there is a boundary right when we are talking about material we have a boundary correct so in most of the practical examples we will have boundary and our variables will be bound from either both the sides or from one side right so if there is a boundary, then there will be absolute maximum and or minimum, depending on few more conditions. One of them is important, that is, it should be continuous in between. If it is not continuous in between, then, then it won't, may not, correct? So, coming back to our question, can a straight line have absolute maximum and minimum? So the answer is, it may not turn but still it can have because it can have boundaries so whenever we bound our function then actually we are creating absolute maximum minimum at boundaries so there is a possibility and therefore when we look into most of the examples in this playlist you have to always always and always check the value at its boundary those could be maximum minimum values right and then compare with your critical values which you calculated and then write down the answer i hope that will be of great importance to you in coming videos thank you and all the best